Hello, my name is Thomas Vögele. I'm project manager at the DFKI, the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence in Bremen, Germany. What we're doing here is testing software and hardware that was developed to support future missions to Mars and Moon. Why are we doing it here? Well, this is an environment which is as close as you can get uh, to the Martian environment in a terrestrial setting. We have a consortium of many different institutions and companies from all over Europe that contributed to this software and that are on site testing their developments. We are running tests with software that is designed to make the robot autonomous. The goal is to enable the robot to travel a long distance, that is one kilometer or more, by itself, avoiding obstacles and exploring interesting scientific features on the way. In order to assess the applicability of um, recent scientific results to future robotic space missions, software has to leave simulation environments and robots have to leave the laboratories. In the field test, we use the robot to validate recent developments in sensor processing and robot autonomy for their reliability under real-world conditions. Infuse partners are participating in the Morocco field trials for acquiring large quantity and quality of data sets to test and validate data fusion methods. The main goal of Infuse is perception, mapping and localization. From using sensors from stereo cameras, LiDAR, inertial measurement unit and intrinsic sensors on the rover. This is essentially to support the autonomy framework for long-term autonomy and planning for future space missions. ERGO is an European project funded by the European Union. The technology developed in ERGO is aimed to the needs of future exploration vehicles in space. In the ERGO project, GMB, together with other European partners, has built an autonomous system that can be applied to different space robots so that they can be autonomous, which means that they can take decisions by their own, without the need of human supervision. For the validation tests, we used the Sherpa TT robot built by the Robotics Innovation Center of the DFKI in Bremen, Germany. The design of Sherpa is quite different to other rovers. We developed these legs to actively adapt to the ground so that the weight of the rover is equally distributed to the wheels. This active suspension system works reactive by measuring the forces at each wheel. Another feature of the suspension system is that the body of the robot can be actively controlled. This could be useful by overcoming an obstacle or by traversing a slope. Testing software and hardware for a space mission in a real-world environment is very important for the success of the mission. You will never find out just by lab tests what can go wrong, and it's a big risk to go without any testing in the field. <laughs>